Welcome to the Punch Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a show oh that we call the Punch Kids. All right, Darby. Tell me where to go. Navigate me. Okay, you got to go. I reckon I go could, around. Okay, like straight. You got to. Okay, so now that you've got the double jump. Look down on your map. You got to go left. So, so get back into like the main vertical room, and mm-hmm. then you jump up into that Actually, pathway. You might, yeah, you might be able to jump out. I think from here. Actually, yeah. Go left. Love um, that jump will jump. Dude. Yeah. So in the break just then. Yeah. Um, I showed you the Firewatch. Ah, uh, yeah. That happened. Yeah. Um, okay, so you, you can because you have double jump, you can jump up there, oh. like over the spikes to your left. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. sure. Oh shit! No, sorry, man, I'm wrong. Mom. <laughs> okay, I'm um, so sorry. Cool. No, you're right. Go back through, and then you, yeah, you actually have to jump up on the wall. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so today is the day that the Firewatch thing happened, where Ford mm-hmm. just completely ripped their artwork yeah um it's crazy so yeah that wall to your right you got it I, I can't believe it when I saw it like it was they weren't even trying to hide it not trying to hide it or yeah. you know like or using it as inspiration Holy. to create something new yeah it, it was they just downloaded the image from the internet and whacked text on the top yeah. like it's of Firewatch it's not like some random game yeah, yeah, man. This, <laughs> a lot of people know what that is. Yeah. Um, yeah, this jump here is like, that's... Ah, oh, that's how they get, yeah. That, yeah. Gonna that save. Takes me a long time to, to get. Oh, man, I, was, I was can't believe that's where we're at. Just completely... Yeah, totally. Just taking our work. That's crazy. so sad. Um, did that happen to you at your job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we made... Um, we made these Christmas cards so last year yeah for one of our clients we made these really pretty Christmas cards it was you know they had this kind of foily shiny texture on it um I forget what it looked like oh dude that was sick um and then someone showed us that this other company who were pretty I won't name names but like pretty well known yeah um pretty established at least I know in Australia like yeah. maybe might be international just used it like but, so but, weird. but they t- they changed the text so like this first text said um you know merry christmas or whatever yeah. but they they got it and changed it to you know tight tidings or well, you know right. something else so the same the same design yeah actually no no sorry they, they changed the text to to say their like their uh brand name sure it was just crazy man like and i can't believe they just what did you do about that Anyone? We we shared it online and it got and it got a lot. It got actually got a little bit of attention. Yeah. Um, but I mean, did they did they take it down or anything? I think they did. I think they they came back and said, "Hey, we're sorry." Yeah. I think their excuse was they didn't know. They thought it was like a stock, a stock image or something. Ah. Uh, which is which is crap. How like, would you? It's, think I mean, because the other the, the first logo we designed has the the name of the brand on it oh david i was that was sucky <laughs> um yeah man it's just i don't know it maybe may it's the age we live in like there's so many images floating around the internet do you reckon someone who Whereas, just works there ripped it off and didn't and just thought nothing of it and like, then the company had to do that wait do you mean what? the the firewatch one or the no, or no, no. one like probably for both like yeah. someone at ford just went like no i don't know well i can in a way, I can see because the uh, the Christmas card was just a shape. Yeah, it was this really kind of stylized Christmas tree, and so and so there's a part of me that's like, well, okay, like maybe I could I kind of get that. Yeah, even though it's still kind of mm. dodgy. But looking at the Firewatch one, it's 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 the same. It's it's just the the artwork, the colors, the lighthouse was yeah. there, like the birds flying off. It's oh. just cool. yeah, man. Yeah, it, it didn't have the Firewatch uh, yeah. like logo on it or anything, but but like, why would it have the Firewatch logo on it? But yeah, but okay. So what's happened in someone's mind was yeah, this is a cool image. Um, I'm gonna actually, as I say this, I realize that I've done it in the yeah, past before. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, I can't imagine where that Firewatch image 
what kind of article or website it would be attached to that didn't actually mention Firewatch. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And as a designer, hey, dude, you're getting paid to like design something. Ooh. If you if you're getting paid as a designer to design something for yeah. a brand, how you feeling, Dave? I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling he's frustrated, but that's yeah. okay. Um, dude, you got you got to know what you're doing. You can't just download an image and yeah, off, oh, yeah. off a random website and then of course put your brand name in front of it. I mean, you can, I guess. But well, you can, <laughs> you but, this, but it gets shared on the internet yeah. and you get sued. So. Um, man, I I would sued. I would be devastated if someone stole my work and claimed it as their own. It's so unfair. Yeah. So you spend not only the hours making it, but the preceding life of yours to develop those skills to do it well. Yeah. And then someone just goes, no, nah, that's mine now. Well, I guess that's it. Hey, like someone somewhere. And yeah, maybe that's even it. You know, like, so this guy, this, this, this designer that Ford has hired. Yeah. Goes on the internet, finds someone else's work. Like that's, that's the issue. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, even if you didn't know it was attached to, to Firewatch yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Someone else has created that. Yeah. You know, someone else has put a few hours into designing this. Yeah. Totally. Which are the color palettes, had years of training to, oh, like he, totally. years of experience to actually pull this thing off. Yeah. You download the image and whack it. Oh, man. Yeah, it really gets me. Yes. Oh! Don't worry, man. I'm just here. Oh, my man. Whew. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't be no, too no, dramatic no. when you die. Be dramatic because I, I can't be dramatic. <laughs> I, can't. I, want it, I want you to be dramatic for my boss. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway. Yeah, that's sucky. That kind of blew me away today, seeing that stuff. Um, Have you played Firewatch? Nah. Man, I guess I'll play it. We should play it, it on... Do you reckon? We... Uh, go, Sam. What... I think it'd be a good experience for Dave, because me and Javid will just sit here like little giddy kids, going like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." But but, but I think it's, I think it's an experience someone should have. But maybe it should be in a one sitting. It's how long is the game to be in one sitting? Three hours, maybe. Depends on how yeah. much you make it. It's kind of you, if you want to make it longer, you can make it longer. It's it's not oh. super long, but I mean, it's a, it's almost like Portal, man. Like it's yeah, right. You kind of I think as as we learned playing playing it through yeah it's it's the kind of game that's better played by yourself like we, we could definitely play it but I think maybe because I've played it Sam's played it made if Dave plays it yeah. by yourself and then we all come together and play it ah uh, right I yeah. think yeah yeah and that's what we should have done with Portal um yeah, yeah. even though it was kind of cool to like record experience that, it? that experience in yeah. the fire pit that was cool. I'm going to use that in my video. The fire pit recording? Yeah. I feel like... So I, w I went back and I watched that. And I was like... I was surprised at how, like, matter of fact I was about what was happening. Like... Dude, you were, like, amazingly descriptive. <sighs> Is that what you mean? Like... What do you mean? I don't like, know. Because I asked you, what are you feeling? You know, yeah. like... And you were able to just pinpoint your exact feelings and tell me what they were. I think I was in the moment. Like, I was like, I feel like this. Yeah. I wasn't reflecting. I wasn't. was like, right there. <sighs> um, but like, I, I mean, I was more referring to like, so when I was there, like, I didn't like, I was panicking so hard. Yeah. But like, <laughs> my brain went to like, okay, we need to survive now. No, yeah. Like, oh. um, which is cool. Like, it, it was like, all right, like if I don't do something now, I'm going to die. And it felt like I was really not, obviously I didn't feel like I was actually in that moment, but yeah. I was definitely immersed. Like if that's what immersion is and that's what I was. Dude. There's, oh, too, see, oh. there's, okay. So this is where my head's at, man. And, Just die. and if we can make this episode longer as well, okay, because I'm currently in the middle of like all this, so much research. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. So, for a few nights now... Oh, that sucked. Do, do you ever have those nights where you can't turn your brain off? Yeah. And you're just lying in bed... Yeah. Thinking? Yeah. Maybe, like, the last two or three nights, that, that's where I've, that's my, my head's been at. Right. 
but it's only because I've been reading on, up on so many um, psychology blogs. Yeah. On uh, reward systems, things that dri- things that drive us, mm-hmm. storytelling. Um, uh, you know, like what what motivates us? Yeah. Reading up on curiosity, um, uh, mystery and discovery. Like just so, trying to all to get to the bottom of the genius behind Portal. Sure. Because there's there's something there as far as... And I, I probably can't even put it into words now just because I don't actually know what it is yet. Yeah. But there's like, as far as the way story and puzzle are mixed together in that game. Yeah. It's just incredible. So like, but, but also the way they emotionally prepare you mm-hmm. for certain moments. So like, um, so that, that moment with the fire pit what they wanted to do is create a crescendo in like emotionally in the player. So what they did is actually put time puzzles. Yeah. Uh, like more and more time puzzles that are, you know, a bit more stressful. Yeah. Leading up to that pit moment. Yeah. Yeah. So by the time you're at the pit, you're already at this heightened level. Sure. Of, not anxiety, but like, I guess like an emotionally heightened level. Yeah. Yeah. So when that fire pit moment happens, it's like, it's not just out of nowhere. Yeah. You're kind of already ready yeah. for something. Yeah. And so the, the way they stage the puzzles, the way they use character development in GLaDOS yeah. um, to kind of drive you, she goes through a few different iterations. So okay. I've kind of split it. It's, oh man, you don't mind that I'm like... No, 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 go, 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 go. So essentially they've kind of split Portal up into... Th- Actually, I'm kidding you thoughts about this. Hmm. Portal into three acts, right? And there's three acts surrounding <laughs> GLaDOS's character. Mm-hmm. So the first, the first act is you're in the test chambers. It's all very clinical and... Yeah. Um, and Gladys is, you know, pretty calm and kind of walks you through, um, the, the puzzles and, you know, kind of eggs you on. Yeah. You know, th- there's nothing really super sinister about her except sure. for the part we have to destroy the computer yeah. cube. Um, but even then I didn't like, it didn't seem that sinister. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then the second act mm-hmm. when you, after the fire pit, you start to reveal more about who she is and so right. she starts to actually use reverse psychology on you yeah so the first one's the first act is really clinical and straightforward second one is um uh reverse psychology she's just yeah. like you know you're going the wrong way you know why don't you just go back and and uh assume the dead position of someone will be there yeah like you know, like your party like but because you've now seen at this dark side of her yeah what's motivating you as a player is actually to to go against the grain of her reverse psychology. Yeah. Um, so that's the second act. And the third act, mm. she actually gets really, really aggressive. Like, I'm just going to straight up kill you. Sure. Um, you shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah. it's like these three acts that are all character development. Um, and that's interesting. So, so the whole reason I'm looking into these psychology blogs is looking into reverse psychology, curiosity, how, um, you know, what drives us to, to push forward. Um mm. And how that relates to Portal. See, okay. That is a really, like, loaded... This is hard, hey, because, like, psychology is so contested as to actually what is driving us. Yeah. Like, it's there's no answer, essentially. I mean, there is certain answers, but, like... um, So, I mean, we've talked about this before, but, like, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a, as a concept is, um, like... Some would say that that's a really driving force. And some would say that actually that doesn't really capture what is happening like holistically in humans and that the world that we are a part of now doesn't fit that hierarchy well. Uh. Um, And so um, like our driving elements are like so... Like as our driving elements are so different, but I mean, most psychologists would agree that it kind of spawns from a survival instinct generally. Yeah, I, I suppose like evolutionary <coughs> psychology would probably say that. Mm. I might have a sorry, uh, just become really boring. No, 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 no. I was going to say like, yeah, that stuff is super interesting to me. <laughs> um, but but in all, in all these articles that that I was reading. Um, mm-hmm. It it always give like two two paths yeah. to the yeah. the argument like I, so I guess there's no real like this isn't the right yeah. thing. There's always other psychologists that are 
contesting or yeah. like um, presenting different arguments. Oh, totally. I mean, like Freud is a great example of like what he like what he kind of determined as like like development factors and uh, and driving for the human psyche or yeah. dr- drive for the human psyche is heavily contested now. Like it's very rare that like Freudian psychology is used as as it was developed by Freud himself. Right. Um and and again like he like places a huge emphasis on like mm-hmm. sexual development as they relate to like your biological parents and um like your family relationships and how you develop those gender roles but I mean we know now from like looking at what gender is like it's such a it can be such a fluid thing for people yeah that it doesn't fit neatly and so even in yeah, that yeah. like it doesn't fit neatly with like Freudian psychology so even with that like a main drive in, in one of the most recognized systems of psychological theory doesn't fit well and so when we talk about drive it's just such a like hard thing to um like capture so i'm very interested to watch this video <laughs> oh, Flip, the flipping what I've, what I've realized about this that i never realized like about ori yeah the section is um each of those pillars gets lower every time. Yeah. So it becomes harder. It just like challenges you one by one. But it pushes, it puts oh, the pressure great. on. <laughs> just dishing it. Yeah, man. So, and, and maybe that's why like I'm struggling to land on something. Yeah. Because I'll be reading this article. It has a link to another article. Yeah, right? yeah. And it has a link to another article. Which is like, like dude, dude I, I think like, do you, so you, if you're reading like academic literature is really good for that kind of stuff as well because mm. it does like I think the, the strength that it would have over blog posts it's probably more densely packed and hard harder to engage with and understand but the big like thing will be um, the big advantage yeah, yeah. oh sorry, sorry man sorry I was yeah. just thinking about that orb you, I'm pretty sure you can jump it and then double jump back and like yeah I've, I've been doing it like so when you like but you can go like jump and then back straight away ah like instead of landing on that wall yeah yeah I... uh, maybe I don't actually remember okay cool I kind of want to use my save here so I don't I feel like yeah alright well let's let's close this episode anyway no we're doing long episodes man yeah I know <laughs> alright cool get into the good stuff let's do it I like it alright bye bye bye